After all the battles you've won and the dangers you've braved, how could he do this? We now believe he was responsible for Dr. Zelensky's disappearance. He also fabricated the attempt on his own life just so he could frame General Krukov. Destiny has placed the fate of the Soviet Union in your hands, Commander. The Allies are still reeling from what happened on Easter Island. The last of them have retreated to the United States. Their president, who rallied the world against us, now stands alone defending his precious city of New York. One thing I did dislike about this was the fact that the Soviet campaign always has you fight your boss. Or at least it had some kind of betrayal. I think it started with the first one. No, you know what? It wasn't even the first one of Red Alert. Because I think Red Alert was fine. Everything was pretty straightforward. <clears throat> there were just mess-ups and cock-ups on the Soviet side. Trying to, you know, a guy, I think the main guy who ends up uh, causing you issues just is trying to cover his butt by blaming you. The assassination or the attempt to kill your actual character, your commander, I think it stems from the original Command and Conquer with the Nod campaign, if I remember correctly. With, uh, what was it? It was Seth. Yeah, Seth being assassinated by Kane. Well, let's take a bite out of the Big Apple. We must take the battle to them, comrade. We must assail the bastion of capitalism and burn it to the ground. Liberate the people of New York City and defeat the fascist overlords. But be careful, General. They can move their forces instantly with their chronosphere technology. The forces here are on high alert, for they know that their day of reckoning has arrived. And there you go. There's the last bit of... in imagination, or unimagination, or unimaginative creation. Like, with this game, it was very conservative. And I talked about the Soviets actually going back in time made it worse for them because the only thing they have now was Tesla technology. And they really leaned into Tesla technology while the Allies still had prism towers, while they still had the... Uh, well, they still had superior air. They still had superior technology all the way around, even without Al without Einstein. And we eventually always had the chronosphere. The chronosphere is almost a given with the Allies. It's the only super weapon they ever have that they always have since the first Red Alert. And it's hilarious that this game keeps it. It's too conservative. Too, way too conservative. It should have been a completely different allied force. I would have actually liked them to be uh, maybe completely solar, or maybe they ended up figuring out fusion without Einstein, and maybe they became a nuclear power, and then the Soviets became, you know, uh, I don't know. I don't know. It's very hard to say what you'd end up doing with the allies, and I think that's what happened, was they just didn't know. So, let's continue. This could be the final battle plan, Commander. Our targets are the Allied military fortress in New York City, as well as the Statue of Liberty. The Allies will be on high alert, relying on any forces they can muster. Take caution when moving in on a base. You must topple the symbol of their tyranny, the Statue of Liberty. With this symbolic gesture, the Allies will have no choice but to submit to the Soviet Revolution. Good luck, comrade. What's ironic is the fact that we're, we're taking on the Statue of Liberty rather than another particular institution around here or anywhere else in the country. That would matter because I remember succinctly the second Red Alert and the Statue of Liberty was damaged in both. And it was pretty bad. But in the second game, you actually took on a place where it would make sense as to why you would be assaulting it. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, give Red Alert 2 a good run. It's fun. And you can see a lot of homages to Red Alert 2 and even Red Alert 1 if you're really digging into the game. So let's be clay. Let's be clay. <laughs> oh, look at that. Look at that hot stuff. The Allies are on high alert. But we've landed some terror drones to help you destroy their forces and fill the city with fear. Distract the allied force so that the invasion force can fly in undetected. Do I really want to fill the city with fear, though? 
Last time I checked, attack. I'm only going to. Oh, oh come on. Now. Out for a little walk. Sometimes I always wonder about how this game enacts going out and attacking. Our allies so get those attack. guys, get those, get that. But, you know, the, the attack move on these are awful. And we have our allied commander not being the brightest. Which I don't really blame them because some of this. It, yeah. You Reds have gone too far. This time, however, we're ready for you. Bring it. Okay. Your invasion force is imminent. Please stand by. Your invasion force has arrived. New York will soon be renamed Commander Grad. I think. Oh, a terrible name. Let's call it New York. Let's see. New objective received. And we've got these guys. So, what you want to do is, for this, we're going to try and plow through these as much as possible. I'm going to try and get my little guys. Where did you get these Tesla tanks from anyway? Does it really matter where we got the Tesla tanks? And not only that, but would it have really been that much of a difference to have. Well, well. A little snack from Moscow. What shall it be? shielded. Let's see, I actually might be able to pull them out. If I can pull them out... Because you'll notice, a lot of these guys are pretty tough. Capacitators ready. Might be able to do this. The sad part is, I don't have enough of my... I don't have a big enough military for some of this. I'm going to try to get some of... So my ally is not. Oh. Yeah, no, I. I oh, I'm trying to focus as much as possible. So you can really mess this up if you're not micromanaging. Units. And what's really funny is you'd hope that. Some of these missions wouldn't be as bad as the original runs. So if you played Red Alert, you know, you'd hope that most of the... Like, you, you see what's going on, like, right here. And you'll notice all my allies' forces are gone. Let's see if I can deal with this. You probably have enough. I don't know where he lost all of his units at. I think he probably lost them going out and dealing with the allied forces over there, on the other side. But I've got to say that is just horrible. But going back to my point, for some reason this game, granted it, it was on a controller, and I can only imagine how frustrating some of this is on a controller. But, oh, yeah, just trying to get some of these units to move where you want them to move, or go a specific path, just drives me up a wall. Just because it's ridiculous. It's ridiculously hard for them to do that. And for some reason, I think the AI also has that kind of difficulty. I think it also has, like, the pathfinding is just not not there, and just having the command moves are just it's not as ironed out as it should have been. Nevertheless, you know, competency allows you to win the day. But you'll notice one thing, though. They did get rid of the fact that they have no Chronos or Chrono Miners. So they got rid of that, thankfully. So it's not instantaneous bumps between here and there. So they did do a good job on being less conservative with that kind of technology or design philosophy. There we go. this guy. Why, you little... That's it! I'm kicking up the alert level. To what? Three? Four? 
two, one. Just like old times, huh, you commie scum? There is one final blow to deliver to the Allies. Their hollow symbol of freedom. Destroy the Statue of Liberty so that we may erect our own monument. This will let the world know that the communist revolution has finally come to pass. And you saw there with Tanya being able to take out those destroyers. Much like what happens in Red Word 2. Another homage. To New construction the better options. days. Building. New of Westwood Studio received. and good characterization and things like that. Construction complete. New construction options. We find ourselves on the doorstep to greatness. And I just knew the path would lead to tearing apart these allied swine. This will be my finest hour, comrade. Very sociopathic. That worries me. Construction complete. Building. Enemy units detected. Moving now. I have something for them. Under See you there. Let's get these guys back over Start here. Start this This is our premises. Oops. Let's proceed. Building. Building. We have full authority. Where are my ass cars? Unit Ooh. lost. She's gone. Construction complete. Oh well. New construction options. It was good to have them. Let's see. Select target. Construction oh, complete. Watching. Construction complete. Building. Cancelled. That. Building. That. You might be wondering building. why I'm building up stuff over here. objective received. Oh. Enemy commando detected. Yes, Tony. Yes, let's take her down. Twin blade. Alert. Allied paradrop incoming. And that's the reason why I'm putting up some complete. defenses over here. Just because I, I'm i a uh, little bit informed of what will happen Building. later on. Now granted, I should put stuff over here and then I'll put stuff in the water. Just, to, or at least stuff up on the pier. Any and units the pier Not down. Nope. Hopefully we don't lose our stuff here. Okay. Yeah. I'm not going to lose rocket soldiers because they're knocked out, the rest of them are dead. I do like the fact that we have some of this, like, cocoon. Just cocoon your units and cargo. Or at least you cocoon your miner. Which is pretty hilarious considering... Oops, what am I doing? What am I doing? It's silly. The orders are clear. Let's see, I can put stuff up here. I'll put stuff up here. They'll do what I'm doing over here, being crazy and putting it down building. in the water. What kind of insanity is that? See, so what you want to do is put some Tesla towers up here, and then you take and put down your sentry guns. So, see that dog? So that dog doesn't cause any problems. Yes. Especially if you have infantry. Though, if you're using infantry in this mission, building. I don't New know what you're thinking received. about. Building. Because granted, you can take and get some guys and drop an engineer, complete. two engineers over here Alert. to capture this. Incoming. Oh, more bear drops. Okay. I can take this. Complete. I can deal with it. I think we'll probably have low energy by the time those two things are built. We'll see. On full alert. Let's see, what is our ally doing? Construction complete. Yeah, he's got New some construction subs. options. Oh, that's good. My game plan is to bunker up, build the vacuum exploder, and end up using that to take out the power, which powers the island, obviously, and then take out the defenses, because if you noticed, I'll give a brief demonstration of what's going on on the island. Uh, there we go. So on the island, you've got all of these little nasty defenses, along with uh, in. I, I wouldn't say they're indomitable forces, but complete. they're annoying enough to options. eliminate most of your troops before they are able to be truly Building. effective. So what you want to do is just have something to deal with that. In this case, it's going Enemy to be the vacuum detected. imploder. Super magnetic satellite so ready. I can use more of the Select super magnetic out. satellite to deal with these guys. Come on. Oh, I hit three-dimensional space on 
Oh, there you go. All right. Our ally is under attack. Gives me a reason to build the barracks. We must all do our part. This is our construction precedent. complete. And construction see, complete. you can New also do a. Options. So you could do like a bullfrog rush. So you get a couple bullfrogs in your dock over here. You fly over. You can drop troops on the ground. You can drop Natasha over. There. You can do commando missions where you can pull a lot of stuff off. But Enemy units eh, it, it just depends on how long you want to take and what kind of fun you want to have. Myself, I like to be as proficient as possible. Granted, sometimes I do some seriously terrible things. Just for the shit to do Yes, da, yes. Let's see, do I need... I don't think I need the hospital, so we'll just leave the hospital there. Building. Building. Oh, it's something I do need, however, is Building. a war factory. Because I do need more resources, because I want those, uh... Construction complete. Oh, I want those two mines. I really do. Those mines are incredible. Construction complete. Enemy building captured. Even they're that close to have, uh, persuaded the stock exchange to contribute to our righteous cause. Building. Construction complete. New construction options. We enforce Soviet will. Building. And we'll see what I do with the Iron Curtain, because I still, I believe you can still put it on buildings, if I remember correctly. I don't think I've done too much. Yeah, it's, yeah, I'm pretty sure you just put it on buildings and whatnot, it'll help out a lot as well. But my ally will periodically attack. He's not very efficient at what I'm going to do. He's very good at naval combat. That, that seems to be what he was programmed to do a lot of. Like, both of these AIs are very good at naval combat. Not so much air combat. But for the basic allied forces, there will be invariably more aircraft that will come in. They come into the picture and cause us a lot of harm. So you've got this. See, and I don't know where they go. I don't know where where this is going off to. Yeah, I, I don't know. I'm guessing they realized, hey, this is a bad idea. Is under attack. So then they just stand there. I don't know what's going on. With that. That's sad. Ah, yes. Where we are going? One of those moments you look at the programmer and say, "So, did you program them to do this, or is this just the product of their terrible pathfinding?" Construction complete. Or is it something Building. more like they have some kind of Building. Uh, idea of, "Well, Building. this is where I want to go." There's turrets there, so it's causing me issues. So how can I get around the turrets? And they're thinking, well, we can go across the ocean and come home. But, yeah, I don't know about that. And it seems Tanya is coming out since we quote-unquote made her mad. Which I think is just an excuse for the AI to throw her into the meat grinder, which obviously is a terrible idea. And... I, I think to myself, how was this on the Xbox 360, you know? Like, how hard was it to do this mission on the Xbox 360? No! This can't be happening! I... Like, would it have been hard for me to do that? Yeah, I don't know what fight you're talking about, pal. Because all I saw was her swimming towards me in these attack helicopters, raining hail upon her. So, I, I don't know what you're talking about. Makes me sad. Building. Building. I mean, it, I, I think that was like one of the first times we ever see Tanya. Here. I don't think we really see her otherwise. I think this is like I'm trying to remember after not messing around with this for a little bit Select and coming target. back. It's like, what was it? Oh, is and this is what I was talking about. By yes, they do. They do think. They do think to use a lot of naval combat. But right now, what they could do is, like, fly 
jets overhead to take out the Tesla tower and then, you know, drive up the troops, which I would figure the AI would know to do that. I think that would be a little bit too hard for the 360 crowd. Not because they're incapable of tactical decisions, but rather their ability to respond is far less. Enemy base detected. Cancelled. Yeah, it's kind of like asking somebody to play StarCraft with an Xbox 360 controller. I think that would be incredibly hard. If not downright impossible. Don't congratulate yourselves just yet. I'm raising the alert level again. Now you'll get a real fight. Whoa, whoa, was that not a real fight to begin with? Construction complete. Yeah, has everybody been just thrown into the meat grinder because, eh, why not? Let me satisfy my ego with level one curiosity. Insufficient funds. Enemy units detected. Quickly, pilot. Vacuum imploder ready. Our All right. Insufficient funds. Ah, yes. <sighs> Just a little bit of money. So we've got the vacuum imploder ready. Let's see. Where's my area? my little blimps? Now the only problem here is I would need some megs if I was going to worry about some. I am worried. Probably get me some anti-air here. But what I'm thinking is, what I want to do is fly these heroes over. So we drop it right here. Take those out. Oh, the vacuum imploder. We take these out. Then we can do a lot more. And send him over there just to distract them. Yeah, for some reason they will now start sending ore harvesters over here. I don't know why. I guess just to insult us. Because they've already got four. They've got four setups here. And then for some reason the AI is like, well, I'm going to drive these up here. And what's going on over here, I don't know. I'm guessing they're thinking, thinking they can pull off what I'm going to pull off here. And as you can tell, those puppies right there, ooh, aircraft carriers, they make a difference in this war. They certainly do. Let's see. Just want a little bit of sight. Just so I can do this. Now the hope is we wipe that out. Let's see here. Come on. There we go. So we wipe that out. And then we come in and hammer this. This is the only dangerous part is where you start seeing these guys. Hopefully they... Hopefully they go back to base. I hope. Nope. Alright, let's see. Yeah, right there. Oh, come on. Super magnetic satellite ready. Select target. Allies under attack. See how I may not be able to pull this off with how these guys. Because normally, what you want to do is be able to get away with bombing this. So I might not be able to. I might not be as lucky. We'll see. See, it depends on how much damage these guys can do before they drop. Even while they drop, they could probably... Well, maybe. We'll see. I don't understand how you've gotten so far. I don't either. You must have a mole on the inside. I wish I did. Oh, well, never mind. The Kiros, they, they survived it. That was the most fun I've ever had. And how the world trembles at our feet. You should return home. I have a feeling you will be given heroes welcome. I think I'm going to stay here, however, and have a bit more fun. That's creepy. You've done it. The allies are vanquished. 
Thanks to you, Commander, the entire world will now become the single greatest Soviet Republic. I don't know about that, but okay. And you notice, see now they have power. To you, comrade. The people want to meet their new premier. The future is yours, Commander. The future is yours. All right, well, that was it. That was the final mission. And I have to say, I do like how that ends up coming out. Though, obviously, if you think too hard about these story arcs, it doesn't make any sense. And most people would probably take that from Red Alert and saying, well, Red Alert never really made sense. I, I myself would disagree. But, you know, after the second one, the second one even made sense for what you could do as the Soviet Union. This third one, it makes no sense. I mean, there was no reason why the Allies would give up after I took out the Statue of Liberty. Obviously, you still had air forces, you still had a military presence, you still had a command structure there. I just took out a monument. Granted, that is a very big blow to people's egos, but I doubt anybody's going to sit there and build a giant Lenin statue with free will. If you know what I mean. It was a different story in Red Alert 2 where they would condition the minds of people through... Psychic domination. And in Red Alert 1, it was more of a, a military presence. It was like the... And it, it never took on America either. America never stepped into the war. They tended to stay away from it. And they said, okay, it's going to be between the Soviets and it's going to be between the Allies. And... Well, you obviously know where that went. I mean, Joseph Stalin ended up being crushed under a bunch of rocks, mysteriously, and the Soviet Union lost. Though, spoiler alert, if you haven't played the second one. So, something to think about, something to look into. I think that was a pretty good, uh, it was alright for the kill-death ratio. But, hey, you can only do so much. I, I only eked out a little bit more income than him, even though I had four... What was it? Yeah, I had four uh, four piles of ore being brought in, along with that bank, or the, the stock exchange. So, that was a surprise right there, just between the two. Just $85 <laughs> granted with some change. Uh, well, with that, the end of the Soviet Union with a brand new era under new leadership. When we come back, it's going to be some allied fun.